welcome back everyone. Today we're going to have some fun with a reverse single crochet or what's sometimes referred to as a crab stitch. Uh, you might see this in, uh, listed as an RSC for reverse single crochet. You might see it as a reverse SC. You could see it called a crab stitch. Um, typically this stitch would be used more in a decorative fashion and it would be like the border of a, of a blanket or maybe a washcloth or something fun like that where, where you wanted to put like a, de a little decorative stitch on there. Um, so let's take a look and see what that looks like. Now typically you know for cross, excuse me, for crochet we would work from right to left. When you're doing the reversed reverse single crochet, you're actually working from left to right. So it's it's a little bit different. Uh, let's take a look what that looks like. Now I just have a little um, sample of some double crochet here as if I'm going to put this as a border so that you kind of get an effect for that. So I just did a one chain one and I'm going to go into the next stitch. Now I'm not working this way like we normally do. I'm working this way. Uh, like I said, again, left to right. So it's going to feel a little bit different, but you're actually going to kind of in front, go to the next stitch. Okay. So we're here. We're going to come around and go into that next stitch. There it is. You're going to yarn over and pull it through like you have two loops on your hook, just like you normally would for a single crochet. And you're going to yarn over and pull through those two loops. And then you're going to do the next one. See, here's the next stitch right here. Remember, we're going this way. <laughs> Gets a little confusing. All right, so you're going to go ahead in the reverse direction. Insert your hook into the next stitch. Yarn over, pull up a loop. You have two loops on the hook. Yep, it's a little twisted because you're going backwards. Okay, yarn over and go through both loops on that hook. And you'll continue to do that. Here's your next stitch that you're going to go into. So insert your hook in the next stitch. Yarn over and drop a loop. Two loops on the hook. Yes, they're twisted. That's okay. Yarn over and go through both loops. And you'll continue this all the way across. And we'll do a couple more here. If you're too tight, it'll be hard like that. So just keep that in mind. All the way across. Next stitch. Next stitch. We'll just do this one more here and then we'll stop and take a look at this. And now you can see you have this nice kind of pattern where it's going on a little angle there with those those two threads that we went through and it'll give you a nice little decorative border there um, and you know I, I think that would look nice now typically when you come to the corner you would put three in any corner when you're you're doing a border. You'd still do the same thing when you do a corner with these, but give these a try. It's a little awkward to get used to at first, but I think you'll have a good time with that. As usual, if you have questions, put them down below. I hope you enjoy. Thanks everyone.